Jimmy Well, hello. This is your host Jimmy Desm, and we're back with a yet another Gimli battle. This time we're going to take on this beast. This is the Rhino, and it's 1.7 million materials. It's kind of cheap. So the Turtle Lord is like 2 million, but this is like 1.7. It's much cheaper. So you may think it's unfair that we uh, pitch uh, a battleship that is, what is it, 500,000 materials less expensive than the Gimle? Well, I am really scared of this ship. I, I, I really am. This is the ship so far that I think has the best chance of actually winning over the Gimle. Because even though this is just 1.7 million, this thing reliably beats the uh, Turtle Lord every time. It beats the Draconia without even dropping one sweat. It's very strong ship. And it also relies on similar tactics that the Gimli use, which is like a lot of crams, a lot of scary crams, a lot of big scary crams. So yeah, I am not confident that the Gimli will be able to beat this. And uh, this is built by Setup, who also built Turtle Lord. By the way, uh, it's a very competent design. It looks very cool. It's very well made and it has great chances of actually winning. This thing, ooh, gold bars, is uh, strong and very dangerous. So yeah, it has uh, it has incineration room. It has a lot of cool areas and stuff like that. Uh, we've looked at it many, uh, sometimes before at least. Of course, we have. This was ob originally submitted to battle uh, the Gimli, I believe. So um, no, no, no. This was originally originally submitted to beat the. Uh, Draconia, of course. Now I'm just mixing together my own ship's names. And it it almost always beats... I think it beats all crafts that have the same similar cost to this thing. I don't think I know a ship of the same cost as the Rhino, which is on the workshop, by the way, like most of the unofficial battles. This is uh, in the unofficial bracket, because I think it has some water pumps and stuff like that that, you know... Anyways, you know all that by now. It doesn't matter much. There are still cool battles. Um, just that the unofficial ones may lag a little bit more and that uh, the winners from the official battles probably will uh, face each other later on. I, I, it's not a promise. It's just a wish from my side to do that. And the unofficial ships, even though they beat the Gimle, will not participate against each other because they don't meet the set of rules. Uh, so some of the rules that you have to follow to have an, uh, have an official Gimli battle, um, they actually make that your ship gets a lot less efficient, like water pumps, for example. They make it so much more efficient. So yeah, th that's that's the reason why the uh, um, ships that don't meet the Gimli requirements are deemed in the of unofficial bracket and are not... Uh, will not go against each other, basically. But anyways, this is the Rhino. Setup has made a absolutely beautiful design of this, or E-Lord as he's called on Steam, uh, made a Turtle Lord too, and this thing is an absolute beast and beats the Turtle Lord easily. Beats the Draconia without dropping a sweat. I'm pretty sure it uh, crushes the Ragnarok 2.0 and the uh, uh, Titan Slang. Uh, from Borderwise 2. This this is a beast. So let's get into the bell. All right, there we have it. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a lag spike when the volley comes in there for sure. All right, we're gonna see what happens with these shells now. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh no, someone. Oh my God, the first volley. I think we're so lucky. We were so lucky. We're able to flag diff some of them out of the sky. Oh no, the oh no, that's some that's some big diff guns. Oh my God, what the what the hole it tore. Man, our lambs are not able to take out those uh, diff rounds either. Oh shit, this is a little bit scary. Now again, as said, you know, all the battles we had before this. 
Um, I don't think I've been so scared of any other ship uh, before this one, because the Rhino uh, was really exceeded my expectations. I think it even can like beat two Draconias or something insane like that. The Rhino is very good. So hopefully the mix of uh, subsurface uh, railguns that can snipe engines from the Gimle together with the big crams, together with the burning laser and the uh, above water spammers will be able to take it out. But we will see. Man, it has so many diffrods. Look at that. It's like EMP. Uh, bam. Just deals a lot of damage. You can see that. I think it took out the propeller using the EMP. Did you know that the propellers are a little bit EMP susceptible? Not usually a big issue. Not that you have to insulate every propeller, but yeah, there's that. <clears throat> and the cram shells, man, they're so scary. Look at that. Whoo! We were able to save our skin using a diff rod. But you know, those rods don't don't pop in forever. They will run out eventually. And that will be a sad day for the Gimla for sure. We'll see. Hopefully today though. We don't want to have a several day battle. That's too long. Yeah, but uh, the Rhino has water pumps <clears throat> and helium pumps, which we can see uh, because of the stuttering we are starting to experience. That's why we have those rules at the Gimlo Open. And the Gimlo Open is, of course, you can follow the official rules for the Gimlo battle and submit a ship that will put up against the Gimlo in the future. And uh, if you do that, then you will be... Uh, in the official open battles and uh, those that do defeat the Gimle will hopefully, no promises, be pitched against each other uh, to deal in some kind of micro tournament just like we did uh, before with uh, the broadsword and the draconia battles I believe we did that. At least the broadsword battles. In any case Looking very splendid. So like a micro-ish tournament. But the Gimle Open doesn't have a submission deadline that ends, really. I guess it... Uh, sometime I will probably say stop, but in general it's... Uh, you can submit them whenever you want. Oh my god, do you see this? I was like, so excited I couldn't finish that sentence. Look at that. This turret is gone. This turret is also gone. This turret is sad. Oh my god, it looks like we may have a chance of actually winning this. The Rhino! The Rhino doesn't have engine power anymore. I do believe that our subsurface sand. not sand blaster. Our subsurface mega sabo sniper thing, you know, the Arcebalista Invictus, as we call them. I do believe they have. Oh, look at that! They have deleted some of the engines I believe so the Rhino is actually sinking has has a ship sunken before when going going against the Gimle I don't think so wow that's really cool I was so scared that the Rhino would be able to make minced meat of the Gimle with a disadvantage of like 500,000 materials so, you know, I shouldn't be too excited that a 500,000 material more expensive ship that I spent too much time on is able to beat uh, a very old Rhino. But I am, because the Rhino was extremely formidable. And remember, this thing beats the Turtle Lord every day and any day of the week. It's very strong. It's on the workshop. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. In any case, I might just have been lucky, so we'll, we're gonna have another round. Um, so, hopefully the Gimli is able to beat it the next round, because if, if it doesn't, we're gonna have a really tense third round. Next round is here. We're gonna see when the volley is coming in here. Look at that. Alright. Our fast interceptors are popping in there. Oh, oh, oh no, some, some leaked through. Okay, 
they knocked off 0.2% of uh, 0.4, maybe, of our total health, but that's fine. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I don't know if the, I don't remember if the Rhino has any type of sieves something. I don't think it does. No. Our cram shells were just melting through there. Maybe that's the only way to beat the Rhino. Bring bigger crams. Bring crams that are worse. But I actually think that my mix of uh, damage types like the uh, below surface sniper rods for example I do believe they help quite a lot I'm gonna see if we can catch one. Oh my god that's a lot of like just interesting to see what happens under the surface and they're like yeeting through the the lower deck hole there so fast we basically can't catch it happening In any case Wow, there's some real staggered fire going on there. Lambs taking out. Oh no. It went through here. Did it deal some serious damage, I wonder? Not too serious. But I'm very aware. Oh my god, do you see this? My secondary little. Oh my. Do you? Oh no. My AI compartment is actually damaged. Look at this hole here. This is the auxiliary AI compartment. It's like some processing power and some ACB stuff connected up there. So nothing important, but because it was damaged like that, we understand how close it was that actually the AI got taken out by those fragments. Since the, uh, the AI box uh, rubber was uh, exposed there. So yeah, scary stuff. Well, well, well. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, when we're dealing with big cramps, we can be very lucky and just automatically win. Oh my god! Isn't it a little bit low? Are we sinking again? I think that we have uh, dealt with the engine power. So here we obviously have one of the sniper rounds. Or. Is it EMP? Are we able to EMP the Rhino's AI? Is that what's happening? Because we do have some strong EMP going on here. The, ho the holes through the hole down here, they are 100% the snipers. Um, they shoot through most things and a lot of people put engines under the water. So I do suspect that they can have taken out some important engines early on, but man, the Rhino is sinking. I do believe that it is possible that it is not properly EMP protected. You know what? It may be even so that the Rhino... Maybe it was built before the EMP change, so that stone was still a decent insulator. Because the Draconia is definitely built using those metrics. And the Draconia is outdated in that regard. So yeah, but still, the the rhino is really scary. It's uh, it it has taken out um, a lot of ships, a lot of ships. I tried it in uh, in testing, and it definitely beats the turtle lord. So it's it's a scary thing. The turtle lord doesn't also have EMP. So in any case. Um, I do believe we are winning this battle too, because as we can see, the Rhino uh, isn't looking too good. But I'm very happy that we're able to beat the Rhino, because again, I, this was one of my uh, ships that I was most worried about would actually win over the Gible. So yeah, good game. It's now the spawning. The Gimle has won again. What do we say then? AOG, Invictus. In any case, um, it's 500,000 materials less expensive, but anyways, I think it's cool. Huge thanks to all the commissioned officers in the Army of Jimmudism and all our YouTube members who are supporting the channel. Your help really helps a lot. Do remember you can join a Discord community of ours, the Jimmudists, if you want to talk some from the depth or other games we do on the channel. 
and you can share some tips and get some tips too. In other, in other cases, uh, look at my other platforms and streams and whatnot, and I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Resm, signing out from the victorious Gimle that just has beaten the absolutely stunning and very cool looking and dangerous Rhino that may need an EMP upgrade. In any case, this is your host, Jim Resm, signing out.